Yo. Turn that up. <coughs> Excuse me. doing I don't know I'm doing now oh, the cough is fine it's not sick or anything just coughing it's a thing it's a thing people do now and then uh, mm. no no wait None of these are right. This is like absolutely not what I want. Whatever. seen Stein's Gate. Nope! Is that like Baldur's Gate? I haven't seen that either. Also, I think that's a game. You can get seven chains pretty consistently. That's pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Proud of yourself. Oh crap, I messed it up. Ah. It's been a while. Yeah, sorry, I've been busy. New project in lab and all that good stuff. Nah, I quit the Wellbutrin. It was making things a lot worse, so I figured... Alright. I'm done with this. Nobody is benefiting. If you pop that... purple that drops that... Okay, I think that still works. Uh. Oh, damn it. I wasn't supposed to do that. Terrible job. <coughs> One sec. <coughs> I'm planning on taking another antidepressant. Not really. I think they want me to do genetic testing to see if there's one that should work better than the others. But that's all garbage. It's the problem when you uh, work in a lab and like go to seminars about this stuff. You just get to hear about like how all the options out there are super dumb and all kind of not good. And then when people propose new options, it's like, oh, you can try this. We can. Uh, okay, yeah, that's good still. 
It's like, we can get your DNA and see if it works with this antidepressant. And your average person might think, wow, that's great! The future! And then... Oh, I messed this up. Again. And, but then, like... Having learned a bit about that, you realize it's all just sort of dumb and very speculative and not really worth paying all the money because it's not covered by insurance because even insurance knows it's dumb. The end. I don't know why I returned to Wellbutrin. That's just what they said to do, so I said, okay. At the very least, I figured even if it doesn't work, it will make me eat less, and I don't think it's really done that either, so... No! Crap, wait. No. Mm. Oh, that's not gonna work. It's gonna be too high, isn't it? Whatever. barely eat at all. No, I do, though. I'm glad that's the impression that I give off, but it's absolutely not accurate. High latency beta. More latency. That way I can say really dumb things on the internet and have very, very delayed consequences. Like an hour latency. I'm just gonna like put the stream on a floppy disk in 32 kilobit per second Windows Media Audio and then just mail it to your house. And it's like, well, can't take the words back now, they're already in the post. the low latency beta out now. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know what's up with my throat. Too much drugs. <laughs> Too much drugs. It's not, it's not a good sense. Uh, oh, uh, 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 oh. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. No. No. No, no, okay. Maybe. I don't know. Aww. Oh, it's too bad. I could've kept going, but it didn't. No more depression community. No, it's still there. I just don't want to stream under it because I don't want to give off the fake illusion that I'm sad. When in reality, I'm incredibly sad. But still.
Wow, that's a bad chain. Twitch TV slash username. Wow, that's me. Let me see. Twitch TV. Oh, wait, no. I'm not even on the right account. Uh. Private window stereo tone. Log in. What's my password? Who cares? Please compete the captcha correctly. I'm sorry. It's true, I'm not a robot. Uh. What was I gonna go to? Oh, yeah, slash. Dashboard slash settings. Uh, I don't see it. There's a stream key. That's it. I can get that. Uh, enable or disable drops for your viewers. I don't know what that means. New chatter announcements. Should be under VOD settings. <sighs> uh, I just closed the window. Forget it. You're gonna have to deal with normal latency. How about that? Halo? Probably not. I think I heard something about them bringing, like, old Halo to the PC, which, I mean, I guess, but you could still play Halo PC online, like, normally, so I don't know. Doesn't afraid of anything, etc., etc., etc. No. 
None of that is what I want. Oh, god damn it. Nope, I lost. Womp womp. today was sleep and run errand singular you're resisting the urge to order a pizza don't do it I'm gonna be really disappointed in you if you order a pizza can you live with yourself huh I don't think so Every day you're gonna wake up and be like, Oh, I disappointed Tim! Ugh! I had one goal, and I messed it up. That's gonna be you. Enjoy it. If you cave on this, our friendship is over. Who's saying this again? Oh, Earth Machine. Yeah, our treasured friendship. That time we went to the zoo and looked at the animals and talked to all the animals to advance the plot. No, wait, no, it's Battle Network 3. Well, whatever we had, it'll be gone. So don't do it. We're going to be best friends. And then... At our wedding... I'm gonna say, I don't, because you ate that pizza. And then storm out. It's gonna be like the big reveal. It's gonna be like, oh, I can't believe you ate that pizza. You didn't tell us this. This is a side of you we never knew about. I can't believe Tim put up with that with that secret for so long. I knew, I knew you ate that pizza. You were trying to conceal it. Trying to be like, no, I ordered this for someone else. I'm just holding it here, officer. It's not my car. But no, I knew this whole time. So there. That could be your future. If you want. That's the kind of future you want, then order that pizza. Benefits to measuring me? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I, I haven't looked at that portion <laughs> of my taxes to know. Crap! I needed those greens. <laughs> yeah, but you're already married, from what I remember. Or something. Pseudo married. Married to a big bowl of beef chow mein. Crap! Not again.
Mm, I guess that's okay. No, wait, that's not what I want. Uh, yeah, I guess that. Wait, there's a new food lime? No, I haven't seen that. I checked for new food uses and there's a couple. But I haven't seen new food lime. Oh, crap. Like, food use, I, occasionally I'll watch. But food lime, that's, that's mandatory viewing. There are no food lime videos. God damn it! There was a girl, like a decade ago, I had an internet crush on, and her username was Lime something or other. And maybe that's why I like the Food Lime channel. Oh, it's the Meat Jiro and Eggplant Salad one. No, I didn't watch that yet. I didn't notice the strange man sitting beside Bob, but now that's all I see. A Jiro. A guy row. I don't know. Do you deserve to be banned for 10 seconds? See, here's the thing. Like... What was I gonna say? Um... I don't know who that is, Nick. Uh... <laughs> so the way that the chat moderation and everything is set up is that if you really feel bad, like you deserve some sort of, like, punishment for doing something bad. You can just get yourself timed out whenever. You know, it's like, pay what, it's like this, it's the new, it's the new prison design. It's, uh, serve what you want in prison terms, depending on how bad or good you think you may have been. You can just stay in prison that whole time. And once you feel like you're done, you can just go, that's fine, we don't really care that much. Oops. It's like that one Radiohead album, but just prisons. Oops. Yeah, self-serve punishment. It's a bit of a prison buffet. Uh, uh, is that a reference? I don't get it. Dumb chain, but I guess it sort of works. <sighs> I should go for a walk or something. <sighs> but it's warm. Which you think would be good. But it poses unforeseen challenges. Oh god, all of you are timing each other out. Go 
walk. Ah, uh, Mom. The video games are inside. No! Wait, okay, you put that there, you put that there, that'll work. I need two reds on top of that green. God damn it! You want another laundry adventure? I mean, I could do my laundry. I don't have that much. I did some last week, but... I mean, I, I could do it again if you really, if you really want. Have to have my most important shirts clean, like my Longmont Potion Castle t-shirt, which somebody actually recognized in public and that was the only time that has ever happened. I then, <laughs> I then, after that happened, went to the uh, Craigslist misconnection section to see if anybody had written anything about the person in the Longmont Potion Castle t-shirt who came into Warby Parker one day, and no, nobody actually wrote anything there. But they might have. I thought they might have. There's a very real possibility. I've never seen anybody else with a Longmont Potion Castle t-shirt, except me, so... I'm only led to assume that I'm the only one. You hate graphic tees that draw attention. You want to wear them, but you don't want anyone to notice. So here's what you do. Get a graphic t-shirt that you want, wear it, and then take your pants off. So, like, you could wear the shirt and no one's looking at your shirt, or, like, distracted by it. Because they're distracted by the fact that you don't have pants on. You degenerate freak. God. You weirdo hippie. Your nudist commune full of other hippies and graphic t-shirt connoisseurs. I don't know, who let you out into society? What if you're... <laughs> well, if you're wearing graphic boxers, you could take those off, too. Or, if you're wearing graphic boxers, you can just not wear a shirt. Like, it, it works on multiple levels, I think. Oops. You ever realize that clothing is like the most modular thing? Crap. If I just punch the controller, it'll work. No, ouch. I've kind of had this urge to go back and play Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Players Unknown Battlegrounds. Player. Player. Battleground Unknown, whatever it's called. Could do it, that's true. I can do anything, like play player battle unknowns, grounds, battles. Oh, 
unknown player battles? Colon grounds. Groundskeeper Willy battles player. I could play the mobile version, you're right. I never did that. I wonder how well that emulates. I'll just crush people by running it on a fake phone with a mouse and then also lose. God. Oh, I messed it up. No! Oh, crap! No, why? Ah, why don't we ruin everything I touch? No. No. Crap. I'm working on another science project. So hopefully that'll be another paper with my name on it. But somewhere deep down the author list, because I'm not doing that much for it. Somebody sent me a Puyo keychain. So I've been really bad about keeping up with P.O. Box stuff, so after I posted that last P.O. Box thing, and I don't remember what it was, um, I'm not sure if it was the one with the... my lesbian experience with loneliness or whatever, or if that was a different one, and I posted one after that. Whatever it is, um... I'd gotten a couple other packages since then. Also, I think, like, two or maybe three copies by now of, uh, the Target-exclusive Oregon Trail thing, so... Thank you. I have many. Uh, but somebody sent me a Puyo keychain, which is... really good and incredibly adorable, but I'm worried I'm just gonna destroy it. Hmm, 
excuse me, let me see. Probably have pictures of it somewhere. Uh... <laughs> God, I was looking. It's in my Google photo gallery. Do you remember um, the David Blaine parody on YouTube that's been there for over a decade? It's David Blaine! That whole thing. They're gonna stop sticking shit in our bodies, David Blaine! Turns out, of all the things to make it into my Google photo gallery, there was that. Um, I, I tried to make it more anime. I wanted to see how young I could get it when I put it in the, um, how old are you robot. That's not what I'm looking for, though. Let's see, that's a picture of my parents. Those are pictures of me. That's a picture of a child in a Martin Van Buren costume. Don't know why I have that in there either. Um... Uh... What am I looking for? Oh, the Puya thing. Uh... There it is. Also, it came with a giant Snickers bar, which is made up of, like, ten or something individual Snickers bars, and I ate all of them and then felt really sick. So if you're ever wondering, is it a good idea to eat, like, a dozen Snickers in, like, five minutes? No. Especially when it's at, like, two in the morning. That's an even worse idea. But it came with a keychain, and it's a really good keychain, but I'm worried that if I put it in my pocket, like, repeatedly or something, it'll just dissolve. Or something. It'll break my chain. So I don't entirely know where to put it. Maybe I could have, or maybe I could have it hanging down from, like, my car rear view mirror, a la, like, rosary beads or something. But they're Puyo. So... If I'm ever in a horrific car crash, four cars of the same color will make contact in the car pileup and then disappear, and I'll be totally safe. By the patron saint of Puyo. Maybe. I could put it in my hair, that's a good idea. I've never get it out. There's a lot of real weird things in my photo gallery. Also, a lot of pictures of me that I don't remember taking. And some science data. Oh man, this science data looked really, really good the first time I did it. I don't know if I could show you, because it's still copyrighted, but I guess if I just like crop it, it doesn't matter. This looked really nice, and because that's like the baseline, and then that's when we give the drug, and it does stuff. But it turns out I did all the math wrong on this, and I had actually normalized it an extra time, which made all of this much um, flatter than it is in reality, where it goes like da 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 flat, and then it's whoop do 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 whoop, which is not as good. I was very disappointed. Would have been nice if that was not a mistake that I made and was actually just how the data was, but sadly that is not it. Why is there just a picture of my chin? Pretty sure you've oops, seen my chin at some point anyway. And just put all the bits together and just make a composite. 
Oops. No! Oh, damn it! No, 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 no! Oh! Crap. Both my name and how I feel at any given moment. Oh, is that what AAA stands for? against AIDS. That's good! Every time I've gone to an arcade, now I can finally know everyone is acting against AIDS in unison. Either that or it's just one guy that acts really, really hard against AIDS. And their efforts must be commended. Infinite Scream. I don't. Is it just the Twitter account that just says ah? It's also not loading when I click it. Uh. No, I don't follow this. It seems incredibly useless. Ah! Crap! No! Hey, remember video games? When's the last time one of those came out? Are they still even making them? Oh, crap. Mm, excuse me. 
I keep thinking about Persona 5. A lot. And I kind of want to replay it. But I don't want to have to replay it. Because it's like four billion hours. Can I just have a mode of Persona 5 where, like, you don't have to meet up with any of your dweeby friends? God damn it! Ah! I just want, like,. lonely main character just sort of trudging through a world that totally hates him. Instead of like a couple hours of that and then boy oh boy adults sure are bad huh? Making me turn down my rap music and not stay out past 8 o'clock because tonight's a school night. No! Oh, damn it, I was gonna make it bigger and I. Uh. I want a mod for Persona 5 that removes all the other main characters, and when they would normally speak in conversations, there's just silence. So it's like people talking to me, nobody replies. And then that's it. Yeah, the main character just sits around while jazz music plays, and that's it. Are you implying there has to be more to Persona 5 than that? Because I don't think so. Man, remember Persona 4, though? That was a game. It had... stuff. You'll never see it coming. Wait, no, that was 5. Turn Ryuji into Waluigi. He was the buddy you didn't want, right? Wasona 5. Oh wow. That's. It's pretty good. Persona 3. Non-portable one day. So I could actually know what the hell is going on. Instead of it being like, I don't know what's happening in this plot! I can't see anything! Where are these characters in relation to one another? Why is everything just... text and buttons? Persona 3 Fest. I could play that. Maybe. I don't know if I'd ever finish it though. I feel like it's a lot longer than Portable was, because it's got like 
animations. Animutations. There's really only one way to play Persona 3, and that is on your Vita, sitting in front of a fireplace with your dog. If that's not like the conditions I currently have, I don't know if I'll be able to play Persona 3 through to completion again. Because that's how I did it the first time, and it worked out pretty well, but... I'm not sure if there's another way to play? I mean, it's... Like, asking me to run a marathon without any legs, and also we forgot, like, the starting gun. Like, it, it, without those two things, it's impossible. You have none of those. It's, it's okay, even if it's like a stuffed dog in one of those fireplaces that's not actually a fireplace, but like a revolving cylinder of red paper mache with light bulbs. And I guess you can just play it on a PSP, it's not like a Vita specific thing. Yeah, I should just set up a stream of Persona 3 with like the conditions I described as the stream layout. With like the Yule Log in the background and stock image of my dog. stream that will appeal to absolutely nobody but me. I'll be like, yeah, that's a good layout. Crap. Oh, you're thinking of dogs. It's like that rat I murdered. Uh, which one? You're gonna have to be more specific. Dogs to men. Gross. God, I'm really bad at Puyo right now. Putting the poo in Puyo, oh, no! configured at all for this. That's depressing. Ugh, video games. Let's see. Now, does RetroArch um excuse me. Does it only save the controller configurations on a per-game basis, or is everything that you run in MAME set to use the same control options? I have no idea. Guess we'll find out. 99322. Those are my measurements.
No, they're not. It's like a Rayman body. It's just no torso. Let's see. Input! This machine! That doesn't do anything. Uh, this... it's not... nope. Up. That... what? What? Wait, no. What? Wait. Up. 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 Down. D any... anything. Uh... Oh. Okay. Oh, why is Mame the worst? I just want to do things. <laughs> is there a way to play this in Fightcade? Because that would be way easier. Was that Fightcade 2? Fightcade 2... Uh... Wait! Number of times this game has been played. 48. According to the Fightcade 2 website, the second best Sailor Moon arcade player is Superior Sexy Man, who is also good at World Heroes 2 and X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Wow. He hasn't played since 2014. Hope he's not dead. How do you put this in Fight Kid? How do you... Like, retrofit... A game into Fight Kid? Because if he played it in 2014, it probably isn't Fight Kid... 2. Uh... I don't know. Nightcade? What is that? That's a real lame name. Lacks peer to peer pings. I bet that means it would work on my system. Go through the Fightcade files and open the final burn emulator. Okay, if I have to. Oh wait, can we do... Can we do multiplayer on this if you have a copy of it too? Or does Fightcade only support networking for Fightcade specific games? <laughs> because this looks pretty fun actually. If there's multiplayer, let me see. Storage, Fightcade, uh, let's see, ROMs? I'm just gonna stick it in the ROM folder. Fightcade specific only. Ah, uh, Copy. Paste dough. I don't know how to do things. Uh, assets? Nope. Cheats, config, games, no, those are INI files. Flyers, don't know what that is, it's empty. Previews is also empty. Recordings, don't know what that is, but it's empty. ROMs, I just put the crap in there. Save states, there's a lot of save states here, which is weird because I haven't opened half these games. Screenshots, blank. Titles, also blank. I have no idea how this works. I'm going to open up Fightcade and be very disappointed. Let's see. Yeah, whatever my login is. I don't even know anymore. Settings. Wait, is somebody challenging me? Don't. But stop. Decline. I don't... What? What? Uh... Unsupported games. Wait. Oh, that's not actually a... Wait, hang on. Oh, no! I'm confused. 
Unsupported is not supported by Final Burn Alpha. I I guess that would make sense. Uh. Uh. Is that Sailor Moon? Settings. Add game. Add. Add. I. I don't know what game this is. That's the problem. The save state must be in the save states folder. What? I don't know what that means. Why am I not just playing Waku Waku 7? Sonic's Waku Waku Patrol Car. How did this guy play this game, though? Uh... Fightcade... Well, what are the Fightcade 2 games? Uh... Do, 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 do. List of supported ROMs... Say... No, that's not how you spell that, that's Sailor. Sailor... Is this it? Wait. What's the name of this game? I can't even see it because there's a big thing in the way. Wait, what did I... Brahms. What is the name of this thing? Uh, it's not this. It's Sailor M. No. Apparently. I don't understand how this person got this to work. I'm so confused. All right, you know, maybe I'll just close Fightcade. And then I'll figure out how to make this work. Up. 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 Wait, just wait. Wait, oh, no, now it just exited. God damn it, why is MAME the worst? I just... Ugh. I know what I want. Just let me... Oh, this doesn't work either. <laughs> wait. I'm confused. Wait, what if you... No. No, the fight stick's been plugged in this whole time. There, unplug it. Plug it. Not configured. Oh, I'm reaching for a D-pad that doesn't exist. It only works with this. Wait, that's right, the buttons don't do anything. <laughs> ah! Input. General. I guess. I... Uh. Player one controls. Up. My stick has a switch from 360 to PS3 and PC. Um... I have a home button. A mode button and a select button. And also a lot of dust. A dust button. Crap! Why does escape close the whole thing? How about I unplug the controller? And then I open RetroArc. Huh? Huh? Oh. Huh? Oh. What if it worked first try, and I don't have to do anything? Is 
I mean, it's... Seems to be fun. Nice. And a lot. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, the point of view hat. Whatever that is. Oh, whoops. Pop the triggers off again. Bookkeeping, machine information. Uh, maybe. Plugin. That doesn't help. Uh, nope. Of course, it's a Motorola 68K. Everything is. Input. Player one controls. No. Okay, wait, maybe you have to go to, like, menu, uh-huh, and then, no, and then, oh, wow, that's really hard to read. Input, mm-hmm, uh, 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 I got, yeah, that didn't, that didn't... It works for you on Fightcade 2. Wait, hang on. I have Fightcade 2 installed. I don't know how to use Fightcade 2, by the way. It looks like a horrible nightmare. I'm gonna unplug and replug your face in a minute, dehumanization. How about that? Fightcade Online Retro Gaming. This is so much less straightforward than, like, anything else about the original Fightcade. I don't know how to play this. How do you... How do you do things? Where are the other games? Click the plus, okay. Sailor. That one. Join. Can't join this channel. Okay. Maximum amount of concurrent channels reached. What? You mean two? How do I- wait, I don't have the... Wait. Yeah, I know. I, I, no, stop. I'm working on it. it, it no, go back. No. It, yep. Uh-huh. Alright. And... Yep. Uh-huh. Blammo. And then... Test game. Crap. Maybe I'll close it and... wait, no, that's a retro arc. That's not whatever this thing is called. Fight Cade. Uh, loading your settings. I don't like my settings. They're bad. I'm angry about my settings. Fight kid. Does it work? Does it work? Does it work? Did it work? Are we fighting in the arcades? Please? Zels accepts the challenge! Oh, wait a minute. I don't have the right VPN set up for this, so it's not actually going to work. Or maybe it will. I don't know. I'm glad you accepted my challenge. Now we can... Oh. Um... What? That's right there. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe it shouldn't be called... Wait, what are you looking for? There. Now it works. I need the European version. Oh man, I could watch a replay! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, it worked! Oh man, that's radical. I wanna do that.
I challenge you to a sailor duel. Mm, that sounded closer in my head. Oh wait, where's my crap? What was the name of the VPN that I downloaded? Proton, that's right. Get secure internet anywhere. You are not protected. Yeah, I know. Wait, hang on. Let me just challenge you. We'll fight. Are we fighting? No, probably no stream today. I have stuff I have to do. Hey! Look at that! You can't. Hey! Look at that! It's really badly cropped. Hey! Look at- wait, why is it- Wait, uh- Ah. I like how it has really whimsical fantasy font and then it's like, We're going to sue you! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh wait, what's the coin button? Oh, I didn't map any of the buttons. Wait. Oh, wait. Wait, is that me? Wait, who am I? I just said, wait. Um, wait, what? Uh, I'm not... Uh, I'm not in this. Hang on. Video input. Map game inputs. Coin. That one. Start. That one. Up. Down. Left. Right. One, two, three. Oh, man. Oh, wait. That's what that does. Sorry. Uh, wait, what's jump? Wait, why is jump also my special? Wait, what is... Oh, that's my special. <laughs> why? <laughs> Alright. For as bad as the interface on New Fight Kate is, this is... pretty satisfying. You gotta stop hitting me though, why? <laughs> David Bowie, no, don't, oh. I'm absolutely not used to playing this on a fight stick. I'm worried that this already runs, or not runs, but doesn't play that great. <laughs> I'm expecting, like, Streets of Rage, and this is very much not that. No, oh, I should have eaten that cake. <laughs> uh, I think Zell's the Sailor Suplex. These are some of the dinkiest punches. Just throwing dudes, I don't know. Where's my special? Why don't I have a... Oh, maybe I don't have one. <laughs> I, I can't prove it, but at a lot of moments it feels like it's not actually picking up my inputs. Or it has me just, like, walking into a wall. I, I guess it is working, I'm not sure. I can blame Zelst and his crappy Canadian internet.
good job. My reward is more quarters! Yeah, the super is just like a smart bomb. Oh man, we can get, um... Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. game. This is an arcade game. I don't know what platform it is. Something from 1994 and has a 16 MHz Motorola 68K processor and that's all I know. Sorry. Oh, crap. Ugh, I don't know. The only one I wanted to be. Wait, let me give you a pat in the back. Good job. Ow, wait, what? No. All kind of vaguely different characters, but they all also are sort of the exact same thing. I thought my jump was like ricocheting off of them. Wait, why don't I have a super? Oh, wait, it's that one. Why is my attack button not attacking sometimes? <laughs> it's driving me crazy. No, why did you pause it on my underwear? <laughs> a mild five is when you give someone a high five, but you're kind of ambiguous about it. I don't know, touch my hand, I guess. No, wait, cream puff, jelly donut. No! Thank you. this with an arcade stick really makes me feel like Sailor Mercury. Oh god! <laughs> Why? I can't do the spin kick because I'm low in HP. God damn it. Wait, does this actually drain my- oh, it does. I didn't know that. Sorry. All the credit's mine, you get none! Ha! <laughs> oh. Well, 
just leave that person on the floor. She'll be fine. Oh, it has the names, or it has the character portraits of who we're playing there. It's amazing how they, like, motion cat my own hands. Not only am I doing exactly that with them, but they look completely the same, even down to my weird red talons. Having, like, functional net play for arcade games is actually surprisingly really cool. In this, like, I feel like I don't need to actually get new PC games kind of sense. No, those aren't my nails, they're not red. Wait. How did I do that? Oh! Wait. Oh, it's dash- wait, dash jump? Okay. There it is. Suck it, David Bowie. Nope. <laughs> Somebody should have... A... Somebody should have an arcade. Like how people make those name arcade things. But just have it hooked up to Fightcade, so if you want, you could always try to, like, do matchmaking with somebody online. That'd be pretty neat. Probably not gonna work, because there's probably not a lot of demand for a lot of these things multiplayer, but still, that'd be neat. So, wait, does Fightcade... Crap. Um... What does Fightcade 2 support now that the original Fightcade didn't? Because there's a lot more games in the directory. Does it support, like, all main stuff now, or... What is it? Because I think it said, like, 3,000 games or whatever, whereas Fightcade was not that many. Thanks, basics. Just advertise right at me. Satisfying. I remember people being kind of unenthusiastic about it, but it's hard to tell what actually sucks based on opinions from the internet. Because most things generally suck. According to anybody online. God damn it, I wanted Jupiter. Jerk. the Simpsons arcade game next. Let me tell you, it's not a good game. They actually watched several movies as a kid. Not a lot. Because it was ostensibly for girls and I thought, oh, I'm not supposed to watch this. I'm not allowed. They're gonna find out. And then arrest me. And 
now it's like, I don't really care anything. Good job. How do I have more points than you? I feel like you're way more effective at this. And Powerpuff Girls was for everybody. Oh no! Wait, where am I? Oh, here we go. I got it! Honk. Chest wigs go pretty well with a large chest. That way you can appeal to everybody. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, God damn it. No. <laughs> no, this, this game isn't that great, but the sprites are actually surprisingly nice. I think the artwork is pretty good. The music is not. God, I wish I got a coffee today. Should have done that. No! Go away! No, I want to punch you! Oh. Damn it. Doesn't look like the score actually reset itself after I died. Oh. I'm not doing anything, am I? Just punching the void. <laughs> Sorry. Nope. My bad. Wait, I get points for beating up my dude? Wait, wait, come back. Hang on. Wait. I can't see. Oh, man. That's real good. <laughs> I had no idea I got points for beating him up. <laughs> That's really good. So you can theoretically just have, like, an infinite number of points if you just beat up whoever you're playing with and have a bunch of quarters. Ooh, ninja, go away. story vaguely related to this. I'm not sure if it's at the point where I can tell it yet. Uh, 
Hey, there we go. Now I'm ready to punch dudes. No, it's not at all like that. It's, um, very much a me problem, though. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, no. Oh, wait, no. There, never mind. We're good. Sorry, I was getting confused as to who I was. Thought I was red for a minute. You're, you're half right, Blonde Robin. So, <laughs> at some point, um, I bought um, a Sailor Jupiter thing for the hell of it. I wasn't really sure if it was anything I was going to post or not. Um, I didn't. But around then, my parents came to visit my apartment. And I thought, oh, okay, that's fine. I'll just take all this stuff and throw it somewhere and no one will see it and it won't be weird when my parents come and visit. Turns out, I would hid everything pretty well aside from, like, the big green, very vibrant green Sailor Jupiter heels which were just sitting out there. <laughs> it's like, oh crap. And I, I didn't notice I just left them out there until they had left, and nobody said anything about it, but I'm like 99% sure they saw. <laughs> it's like, oh god. I don't... I don't know what people know now. I mean, no one ever commented, so I guess maybe they didn't see, but they're kind of hard to miss. Yeah, my girlfriend left them. Also, she has the same exact size that I do. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> anyway, that's the story. I probably could have told it better, but I wasn't sure if it was a thing. I felt like getting into, but it seems like something that would have happened to me, so whatever. Sorry. I got it. I'm helping. Oh. Anyway, that's my dumb life. Ow. It's okay. I don't even have a Tim-like figure. It's all just taking dozens and dozens of stupid photos until it's like, that one's okay! Sort of. Oh, there we go. Man, I wish my hand were a giant orange axe. That seems really useful. I think if we just stand at the edge of the screen and just mash the attack button, it'll never actually have a chance to get back up. Oh, or you could just... Just waste it! See if I care. Damn it!
That's pretty much it, Blocks. And now they're just regular dudes. To fight. Is there a fight stick for axe hands? No, that's when you start using the foot pedal. <laughs> yeah, I have a log controller. background does not animate. Wait, this was on a Model 1 game, right? I'm trying to think of what the arcade hardware this would have been on is... some random thing I've never heard of. No, we don't break those. This isn't Streets of Rage. <laughs> we just throw this man into you. Hope that's okay. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> My feet are magnetic. I can't help kicking people in the face. It's all I know anymore. Programmed to kill, or at least kick. This game should have been four players. range on these attacks. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. 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 I got it. No! <laughs> Don't hit me. It was a mistake that I did multiple times over and over. you in the face, my diving thing. Oh, 
Do people still breakdance? Is that a thing? Is there like a breakdancing convention? <laughs> Anyone? Breakdance Con 2K18. Ow. God, can you imagine? Jinko convention. Bunch of people raiding their closets like, Alright, gonna take you guys out one more time. I swore I'd never wear you again. Give me master just this once, etc., etc. Ow! Why are you fighting me? But stop! Hey, I'm here too! Oh. made plans to go to the gathering of the juggles. It's not a hard no, but it's probably not gonna happen. My favorite thing about that is the Joe Goes video of him going to the gathering of the juggalos and then winning the rap battle. God, I've not seen what he's up to recently. Those were always fun videos. Should have subscribed to him. So then I can get a notification in my inbox every time there's a new video. Wow, it's free. commercials for it? Is it better or worse than the magic bullet infomercial? The gold standard of all infomercials. Also, I remember an infomercial about a vacuum cleaner, and I don't remember anything else about it aside from the fact that it came on at like 5 a.m. when I was on Cartoon Network watching old episodes of Captain Planet because that was the only thing they had on and it sort of interspersed the Magic Bullet infomercial, but it wasn't nearly as interesting. Nah, the Slap Chop ones are too new. Like, the Magic Bullet... That's like a TV show. You don't even know there's advertising in it. That's how well they blended the advertising for the Magic Bullet in. Like, it's seamless. The plot is like a triple-A Hollywood movie. There's romance, there's intrigue, there's making any food product you want in 10 seconds or less thanks to the magic bullet. Like, it's perfect. I don't know why they haven't made a feature film of this yet. 
Magic Bullet has one of the strongest IPs, I think, of any television universe. In fact, if your Magic Bullet is just not getting the job done, you can take a Magic Bullet and grind it up with your Magic Bullet, and then have smaller Magic Bullets to make even more containers of salsa in 10 seconds or less. I don't people have wings. That seems like a missed opportunity. pick up this thing and throw it. I guess. I don't know what that was. <laughs> yeah, walk in here, kill some people, leave. Oh no, the Laundromat Arcade! Oops, sorry. Hi. Oh. Why am I not popping my super? Gonna ignore the dead guy in the back row. Oh, okay. Oh no, he's terrorizing the arcade down the street next. Can I have an emulator for Mame that lets me play, or not an emulator? Can I have a ROM for Mame that lets me play Stacker? That's really the only arcade game I want to emulate. Attacking. It's a head on the floor. Um. <laughs> I can't eat it. Oh, wait, that's me. Stacker is rigged, God damn it! No arcade games made me as frustrated as Stacker. Every time you get to the top and it's like, I can totally do this, no problem, and it skips over the stupid parts you have to go on to. It's super irritating. Like, you get really easily to the, like, level one prize section and think, oh, I can go all the way to the top, and then they just make it so you lose. It's like, I could have won this gym sock, but I don't want the gym sock, I want, like, the $2,000 and or fake iPod at the very top prize. He wrote an angry letter to the stacker company. See, people talk about affecting change in their world by writing their congressman. And that's great and all, but I really don't think it's nearly as important as writing a letter to the stacker company to 
tell Johnny Stacker that he sucks. I've got some mean words for Johannes Stacker over there. Yeah, I know they have it set so the machine has to have a certain amount of money into it and then it adjusts how cheap it is, but still. Final round. Eight levels in it, just like a video game. When I was a kid and we used to go to Wildwood Boardwalk, they had a bunch of stacker machines and other stuff, and it was the worst! It's, it's just... Every prize they would give you is just bad. It's like, here's a knockoff plush toy, or like a fake iPod, anything like that. And it's like... I spent a bunch of money on these arcade machines to try to win this prize, and I didn't win. And in retrospect, I didn't need any of these prizes, and even if I really did, I could have just gone on the internet and bought one. See, when I was in scout camp, I think it was called, like, the Beach Jam or something? We would have campouts on the beach in Wildwood, and then just sort of gawk around the arcades and stuff in the daytime. Which seems kind of neat, but in retrospect, I think we had to do it in our scout uniforms, and it was, like, weirdly mortifying. But... It was sort of fun. I just remember the terrible, like, cheating arcade machines. All the, like, hermit crabs you could buy that nobody would ever take care of. Um... And, like, all the horrible novelty shirts that had pot leaves on them. Which also sounds a lot like Ocean City, Maryland. And I guess every other boardwalk on the planet. I heard, or I had a hermit crab once, I brought it home from the beach, and then I killed it accidentally. I took it home with my grandma, because she had taken me to the beach and allowed me to take the hermit crab home. Uh, turns out, it shouldn't be in fresh water, that is a bad thing for a hermit crab you pick up on the beach. Um, so, don't, don't do that. Leave nature where you found it. Does the guilt still haunt me to this day? You know what did haunt me for a really long time? So you know those lottery forms that you get to, like, fill out with Powerball information, whatever? Just the blank sheets? Um, I was running errands with my grandma at some point, and we went to a convenience store, uh, and they had some of those on the counter, and I took one, and for years, I'd convinced myself that I had, like, stolen something of value by taking one of those sheets. It's like, oh god, this is a crime. I can't tell anybody. Then I grew up and realized nobody cares, and I felt guilty for nothing, but... Oh well. Thought I had stolen a lottery ticket. 
But no. I'm just a dumb child. When I was a kid, again, um... You know what sand fleas are? We have a lot of them in New Jersey. They're like little crab things that are in kind of like oval -y sort of shells with little legs on the bottom, and they're grayish, and they range from the size of like, like a grub, I guess, to maybe like the size of your thumb for a big one. Um, once, I think, my school, or summer camp, I don't remember, um, took us to the beach, and I took some sand and some salt water and some sand crabs, or sand fleas, and put them in the bottle, and I took them home as quote-unquote pets, which did not make my parents very happy. So there were two of them. One was smaller, and one was, like, big and chunky, and... When I showed my parents the thing, they drove me all the way back to the beach with my bottle of sand fleas and had me release them. And I put, or I poured both of them out in front of the, um, or like on the waves. And the little one immediately got up and then just started, like, burying itself and crawling away. But the big one just sort of, like, sat there. And it seemed pretty dead. And we waited for a little bit. And then it righted itself and buried itself and then ran away. So, at the end of the day, it's all fine. I did not kill any small animals then. It's not really much of a story, but... It is a thing that happened nonetheless. I don't have that many exciting stories about crabs. Actually, I guess I do have a few. I was in a fish store once, and, uh, I forget if it was a crab or a lobster, uh, pinched me real well, and was, I don't know how to enter my name, oh, pinch me, and I couldn't, uh, get it off, so I like, flicked my hand down and launched the crab onto and across the floor. And the guy running the fish market was not very happy about that, and he was begging me not to, like, step on it, which is what I really wanted to do. That crab made it out okay, but I should have stepped on it. It hurt. Anyway, I gotta stay hydrated or else the bot's gonna yell at me. Uh, I don't have any interesting stories. My life's been boring. Yeah, somebody eventually ate the crab, but it wasn't me. Well, that was a game. What else do we have? In Fightcade 2.0 ad. You missed Sailor Moon, the beat em up. Oh, we could play the Genesis Sailor Moon beat em up! Why, wait, why can't I join this channel? Can't join this channel, maximum amount of concurrent channels reached. That's dumb. I joined two. That doesn't make any sense. 
What? That what? Anybody want to play the Genesis version? <laughs> I don't even know where I have the ROM for this. Uh, these are my favorite games. Oh, they have a Game Gear one. Is this just a thing? Wait, I'm confused. So this is just... It just emulates games now? Wait a minute! Oh, can we do like... Can we do like Sonic 2 or 3 multiplayer or something? That would be... Pretty rad. It's not really fun, but I haven't done it in so long. I wonder. I don't know. Um, what version of the ROM it wants. I don't even know what version of the ROM I have. Yeah, Sonic 2 Game Gear multiplayer. Uh, no. Let's see. Users. Tim. Documents. ROMs. Gens. Oh, God. There's so much crap here. How about... Oh, my... No! You know what we should do? God damn it! No! Oh! <laughs> oh, I was so disappointed. I wanted to play multiplayer Knuckles Chaotix via Netplay. <laughs> but it doesn't work. Oh, man, that would have been so good. Dude. Knuckles Chaotix multiplayer is the most frustrating experience on the planet oh my god <laughs> because nobody is on the same page and you're constantly pulling each other in different directions it's so bad uh let's see where's my copy of sonic 2 Uh, can I play the Sonic fighting game? I don't know. Uh, no. It doesn't look like it. Mm-mm. Sadly, not an option. Oh, uh, but I could have had... I could have had, um... I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Could have had something. Sonic 2. Knuckles and Sonic 2 prototype. There we go. Why can you only join two channels? Like, what is this limited by? There's clearly space for more. Seg, oh. oh, you want a bin. All right, if you really want. It's not a bin though, it's a Sega Mega, Mega bin. Hmm. Sonic 2 dot binary. Bin, ROM, download. Make a folder called Sonic 2A and rename the game to that. Yeah, but it's... 
It's a uh, folder Sonic 2A. Why does this need that? That's dumb. It's not a binary file though. Yep, that's fine. That didn't help. Did they want me to make a get there make a new one? And then zip it? Wait. What? But that's dumb. Why would I okay. I sure. Nope. Oh. Wait. What? It opened up a window, but it's a blank window. But it knows that's what it's called. Seg, oh. <laughs> Sonic 2A was found. Sonic 2, not found. Oh. Um. What? Maybe it's the capital. I don't know. I don't know things. Add to archive. Sure. Make a duplicate zip? I, what? What? The following ROMs are invalid. Program ROM is 0k, which is too small. I'm just going to download a new one. How about that? How about Dina Brothers? Oh, good. I like how this takes a really long time to download. I'm gonna have to go to ROM Hustler. Oh, it's also gonna take a really long time to download. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Dot zip. That's me. Yep. And then I'm gonna rename it Sonic 2A. Yep. Get rid of that one. Uh, yep. Hey! Oh. No game loaded. <sighs> Why is it A? Why is it just not Sonic 2? No, uh, no, uh, that. Uh. That, that, mind if you link ROMs here. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Why would I ever be like, oh no, no ROMs. Yuji Naka is going to come out and break your legs. Slow download. Your download will be available in 25 seconds. Haha, <laughs> no. I'm just going to close that one. How about free ROMs? I'm gonna download this one, it's in French. I'm gonna telecharger it. Consider yourself telecharged, nerd. Sonic 2A. Oops, that's Sonyuk. Complamo. Hey, it worked. Thank you. Argus. Wait, oh, uh, oh, oh god. Ah, no, da, ah, uh, no. Thank you. Game inputs. Start. Up, down, left, right. A, B. Oops. Oops, I don't care about X. X, Y, and Z mode. Oh man! Dude! Play me! Play me! I'm gonna mega drive you to victory.
Except I'm gonna have the victory. How about that? <laughs> the multiplayer in Sonic 2 was not really that good. But... None of the Sonic games, in retrospect, had good multiplayer. And the screen was usually too small. Mean Bean Machine had good multiplayer. Mean Bean Machine had good everything. The versus music is good. In fact, the versus music, for me, is more nostalgic than the normal stage music, I think. Ouch. Like, just going over to a friend's house and playing the Emerald Hill multiplayer or something was always entertaining. God, I can't believe somebody already figured out that the Mean Bean Machine music goes really well with the Wendy's Hot Drinks song. Do I still have a link to that? Hot drinks. I know I can't find it. Uh, mean bean. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Mix. Wendy's. Wendy's new spicy Asiago Ranch Club. Go out and get one today. No. Where's the link, basic? Is it this? This works exactly as you would hope it does. It's really good. After, after this point, it doesn't work that well, but the intro is exactly what I thought it was going to be. It works so well right here. version or the idea what is this YouTube is ads no it doesn't <laughs> what is this no <laughs> might like MRE videos. I have an ad blocker on. At least I thought I did. I, I want to mine Bitcoin with AliExpress parts. That's not at all incredibly dodgy. Hell yeah! I've been watching a bunch of these recently, and I don't know why. Wait. 
Oh yeah, I was looking for this for a really long time and I couldn't find it and I finally found it. Had anybody else ever seen this at some point? I hadn't seen this in so long. I had no idea what it was called, and through a very complicated string of search terms, I eventually found it again. I'm glad I wore these pants. It's not really that funny. Okay, there's that mushroom. It's also older than 2006. I'm pretty sure. This is a better video, though. Drake! What? Where's the door hole? It was right there. See, I drew it with a magic marker. You were supposed to cut it out with the power saw. Dude, I'm gonna. Oh, really? Yes. So go get the power saw. Okay, I will. <laughs> I see the problem. Oh, do ya! <laughs> I don't think I've seen the Mario 64 one. I've only seen these two. Drake? What? Where's the door hole? I didn't even know this was a thing until recently, and... They've been pretty good so far. We were supposed to cut it out with the power saw. Dude, I'm gonna. Oh, really? Yes. So go get the power saw. Okay, I will. Show me the Mario one. Wait a minute, this doesn't look like a quality video. Drake. Also, I think I have seen this. What? Where's the door hole? It goes right there. See, I can chew it for a minute. Drake? What? Where's the door hole? It goes right there. See, I can chew it with a magic This only has 98% likes. I don't know how you can expect me to watch to this. The... Dude, I'm gonna. Oh, really? Yes. So go get the... Okay, I will. Oh, I did see this. I think it was on Twitter. I see the problem. Oh! You know, I bet... I bet the VPN is doing something with these ads. I bet the instant I turn it off, it'll work. Is anybody playing Sonic 2 with me, by the way? I need to play King of Fighters one day. Again. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, it's right. I like this video. Somebody play me in Sonic. Please. Oh my god, this has almost 300,000 views! Dude! It had nowhere near this many when I first saw it. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Bob. What am I using? Fightcade 2.
Where's the ROM? I don't know, somebody linked it. Where did this... Where did all the views come from? Anyone? Sonic? Please? guy that's not Bob. I guess, if you want. No, he's food dip, he's not food use. <laughs> it's from Wind Waker. Outset Island. Sonic 2 co-op or versus? It's both. The co-op part kind of sucks. Um, the versus also kind of sucks, but I don't know how this works, so if you download it, we could find out. Uh, nothing all that exciting here. I've seen all this multiple times. Chinese war swords. God. There are few swords in the world that are more intimidating or more effective than the two-handed Chinese war sword. <laughs> its huge, wide blade will shear through armor as if it were butter. Mm, not this is not the right link. Flesh and bone. However, there's nothing clumsy or awkward about this. Hey! It's 14 and Fight me! Cord wrap grip, S-shaped guard, and still ring-shaped pommel. All oh wait, no. Go away, China. China. Chinese it's war sword. Fast. That one. Somebody. Oh. Let's see if this works. Oh man! <laughs> I've not done this in so long. Sorry for the screen capture. Hang on, I'll fix it. It's because it changes resolution. Uses a special high resolution mode of the Sega Genesis for the multiplayer. No, God! Feels so sluggish. I wonder if this is the 50 hertz European version. Or if the multiplayer always just ran like trash. I 
I can't tell. I'd have to play the single player, but it feels really slow. No, the music's only slower in the first Sonic game due to 50 hertz. By the time they did Sonic 3, it was normal. Um, they also found that if you overclock your Sega Genesis, you can eliminate a lot of the lag in this. Hey, it's me. I think this is... I think every multiplayer stage that has music has better music than the single-player version. I think this is a better theme for Casino Night Zone than whatever they went with. Yeah, you can overclock Genesis. Oh. Go away, Tails. Wow. Oh god, why? <laughs> How? I don't know. I've seen it done. There, take that. Now I'm ahead. The Mystic Cave one is the Hidden Palace Zone music that they used in the Sonic 2 mobile port. It's the... Or however that goes. I was sort of on... Um, beat. Not really. We're supposed to be racing. I don't know what Player 2 is doing. You have to go through the wall! There's an invisible path you go through. Hold right, just hold right. Okay, you can do that, sure. What's interesting is that the Genesis seems to be scaling all the original sprites. Probably not scaling them, I guess, as much as it's, like, just using every other line in the sprites. I guess. That's sort of like scaling, but it's probably how they can get away with it. There, good job. God damn it, Tails. <laughs> One up I do not need. Oh, hi. How do you choose what ROM you want to use? You have to put it in the Fightcade ROM folder, and then I think if you go to the, like, Add option, I think it's like a plus underneath the things on the left-hand side. Um, then search for the game that you want, and eventually if you go to Play, it'll tell you what it wants the name of the game to be. I might do this again. It's kind of weird, because it seems like now, aside from the wonky interface, Fightcade is sort of, like, supplanting any need for any other emulator. Like, you don't really need RetroArch, because this seems to do the same thing. Your inner child wants to beat me at Sonic. Your inner child sucks, how about that? I have nothing but disdain for your inner child. Do I think the Sonic 3 racing mode's any better? Eh, they tried to make it better. I think the menu for the Sonic 3 racing mode looks really good. Like, the menu design looks really modern. 
I think the multiplayer itself is probably worse. One player wins. Which player is that? Me! Haha! -ha. Bye, Tails. Oh. There were never any Robotnik monitors in the main game, which is really weird. It feels like in every Sonic game they forgot about Robotnik monitors. Because the only time you see them is in Sonic 3. And that's on the very last level, and I think it's only in, like, one area. Maybe two. It's like they finish making the game, and it's like, Oh, wait! We programmed these Robotnik monitors! Gotta put them in somewhere. I can't believe it doesn't run Knuckles Chaotix, though. And I don't think Sonic CD had any sort of time trial mode, because that was based on Sonic 1, which didn't. I mean, it had, like, a single-player time trial, but not two-player. Oh, man. Hidden Cave Act 2. I wonder... I wonder if you're gonna fall for the part. You know... the part. Oh god! Oh. Bye. <laughs> you fell for it. You fool. How could you forget the O? <laughs> oh god. How could you forget the Mystic Cave Pit? So somehow by falling in the pit, you've actually ended up ahead. And I'm pretty sure the pit probably is still... Actually, I don't know. I don't know if it's still open or if it closed. Ah, uh, looks like it's still open. Hi. Yeah. Nope, open it, thanks. Bye! <laughs> oh, you idiot! What did you do? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's the worst. Oh god! Not again! Ow! Why am I so stupid? <laughs> it's the frame rate. Like, nothing behaves like it's supposed to. You don't know how long your invincibility frames are because it runs at like half the speed. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Nice! <laughs> Third time! Wait, what? <laughs> what did you do?
gamed over on the Mystic Cave pit. Also, this is the most irritating thing. No. You get my cast offering. Oh, you closed it. <laughs> um, let me see. What ROM does Sonic 3 need? I can't believe Chaotix doesn't work. Sonic 3. No, that says Sonic 34. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 USA Mega Drive. You got me covered. Oh, you know, we could play, um... Oh, dude, we can, um... Ah. Uh, there's, um... Oops. Oh, God, everything's broken. There's, um... We could play, um... Streets of Rage. Dude! Dude! We should totally do that next. After Sonic 3. I need the ROM for this though. I guess it's this. Slow download. That's too long. Well, I couldn't do Netplay before because it was blocked peer-to-peer -peer connections and all that stuff. But now that I found I can use a VPN to make that work, now I can do anything! Yay! That's me, I love ROMs. I wonder what ROM name this wants. Let's do the prototype. Sonic 3D, okay. I think I can probably get my switch to work because I have a USB ethernet adapter so I could probably just share the network connection over that into the switch. So I'm pretty sure I could use this to get my switch Wi-Fi to work. Um, I clicked 3D Blast. Oh, yeah, I did. Wait. Oh. There it is. Sonic 3U. Uh. Kablam. Hey! It worked. Fight me. You have the best connection of all the people. Let's go! Oh, wait. I didn't match buttons yet. I could get a replay of this match. It seems very unnecessary. How about multiplayer Mario Paint? You accept it, but nothing happens. 
Yeah, I don't really like the new Discord, or not Discord, Fightcade menu. It's too... It's too busy. And it doesn't highlight the stuff that I need highlighted. I have a working ROM. I don't need yours. I'm pretty sure, because it did load. I don't think it has N64 emulation. Mario... Is Mario Paint? That'd be fun. Mario 3, Vok Rug Sveta. Oh. You suck and are bad at video games. Now it's a black screen. So... I'm assuming we don't have the same versions of the ROM, because when I make the game, it loads for me, but when you make the game, it loads for you and not for me, so I'm assuming our ROMs are slightly different. Up, up, down, down, up, 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 up. No, no one? Okay. I guess I'll try this one. Uh -huh. Why do you want me to download the French one all the time? Go away, French ROMs. Sonic3u.zap Fight me! Do it, do it, do it. I'm gonna tell the charger your butt. Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? No. Why is this one particularly broken? So desperate for Sonic ROMs. Mm, I think Pool ROM is still here. Hmm. Nope. Hmm. Works on my own. I don't know why it's not here. Everything's weird. Hell yeah! This is a really cool looking menu, especially for a game from 1994. Is there a... There's not a second player. It's just me. You have to map your controls if you didn't do that yet. The weird thing about the Sonic 3 multiplayer is that it runs on, like... totally different physics... than the main game, and it feels really bad. Everybody accelerates too fast, the jump is too high. Like, this is my stock jump. That's too high.
I don't think I could exit. Oh. Fight me! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! I'm gonna challenge all of you. Oh. Hey! That's a good interface for 1994! Oh wait, I can't go back now. Sonic 3 just doesn't work. It's not really a huge loss because the multiplayer and it's not all that good. <laughs> I really like the musical aesthetic of Sonic 3 though. Um, maybe we could try Streets of Rage 2. Seats of Rage. Doug. Oh, we could play, um... It's Chavez. Chavez 2 on the Mega Drive. <laughs> That's multiplayer, right? Chavez to USA. Oh, I don't have the USA version, that's why. There we go. Anybody want to play Chavez 2? It's not a good game. It's just a game where you punch people. Chavez to new challenge on Street Fighter. I decline. I'm only here for Chavez. I wonder if it's case sensitive. There you go. Hmm. USA.bin. You just want me to call it Chavez 2? Oh, what well, two is in the number? Oops. Chavez, Chavez, hey! Anyone want to play me in Chavez? Do you want to play me in Chavez, Tin? Or Eater, or anybody. Chavez, Chavez. One of us has to be Chavez. Oh. I wonder how many replays Fightcade is generating that have nothing saved in them. Why is this not working? God damn it, people! Fix your game! Oh, wait, I don't have the buttons mapped.
Chavez, Chavez. Maybe it'll work. Let's find out. I think this has to have a multiplayer mode. I mean, it's boxing. Hey! Not a good game. Uh, how do I change second player? Is there even an option for that? You have to hit enter? No, just leave that and switch. Uh I think exhibitions only Oh! There you go. Sorry. I'm gonna be Chavez. How's that? That's me. Uh, I don't know how to... Is there even a player two? Oh, there you go. Um... Do I have to pick for you? <laughs> I, I mean, it has a picture... No, I can't. Oh, there you go. Time to get Chavez, nerd. I don't know what the buttons are. This is not proper sound emulation. <laughs> oh my god. Chavez has to guard his face. <laughs> this is not the world's greatest boxing game, but it's got Pepsi in it. You've got more tomato sauce in your face than I do. This does not seem like a good multiplayer game. I don't know why I walked into your punches. Wow, it's just like television. <laughs> this looks so stupid. Chavez, no, he's already dead. No one's cheering for Chavez. There we go. Bought the gloves with the big X on them.
Great. <laughs> Dig that. Oh god, I'm getting chavez Oh wait, I'm on the back now! Oh, I was doing the punching! I wasn't being punched. Okay. That's right, I switched the camera orientation. It is a bad game, I never said it was a good game. <laughs> this is so stupid. Someone's gonna report this channel because it looks too lifelike. They're gonna think it's just someone broadcasting boxing reruns. Say. Ah, move. No. Oh. Ah, don't hurt me. Ah. <laughs> Why are they cheering for me? I just had my gloves in my face. How many rounds are there? I look nothing like Chavez. Did it say six? Oh god, I can't last through that many. I'm out of punching juice. Oh good. I don't understand if there's any actual strategy to this game. Oh, we should play multiplayer Jam It! Dude, no. We should totally play Jam It instead. Oh my god, Rodrigo, please, your face is covered in sauce, just let me win. It was not the street hockey game, it was the street basketball game. Multiplayer Parappa is a thing, but you would need PCSX2 or something for that. Ah! Stop hitting my groin.
going down, Rodrigo. And the crowd goes mild. Uh, I like this one guy in the back. The crowd's not more enthusiastic. They're gonna watch a man die today. Ugh. Chavez, I mean, Rodrigo, what's on your face? Oh, why can't I get your sauce meter down lower? Is that like 40%? I'm just out of glove. Do it. Damn it. <laughs> God, your eye. Oh, the game's desynced. Punch out the ref. Oh, God. Alright, I can't play more of this. How about Janet on the Mega Drive? I want to jam and slam. Rio City's down. Yeah, it seems like it's been down for a while, which is kind of disappointing. I'm not sure when that happened. Let's see. Jamit USA dot bin. Jamit USA. Oh, wait, that's a zip. Does it need a bin? No, it's an MD file. Wait, what does this have to be called? Oh, is it just jam it? Hey. Wow. Jam me. Let's do it. This game is bad. Oh, I gotta map the buttons. Input. Start. Up. Down. Left. A. B. And C. Uh, I... I guess one on one. Hey, come on. Hey, wait. 
<laughs> I don't care. Slam Haven. <laughs> I don't remember how to play this. Here's my incredibly, incredibly labored dribbling animation. Oh no! <laughs> Three points! Oh. How to get the ball? What? <laughs> this game is such a mess. This dribbling animation. <laughs> Why is it so deliberate? Doesn't even look like it goes in. You're going down. <laughs> this is such a stupid game. No. <laughs> I love that you can run into the basketball hoop, like, pole, and you just fall over, even if you just gently brush by it. Oh, that was gonna be a good play. <laughs> no. That's my strategy. I love when it does that animation when we're both in front of the net. Because it doesn't have like enough frames of animation to make it look good. So it's just like... bodies floating into frame. Take the shot! No! Oh, that's a point for you. <laughs> Wait, I have to punch you. <laughs> no! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> it's such a mess. Oh wait. Oh no! <laughs> no way! Go away! Ah! No! <laughs> no, crap. There we go. No! I have to get exactly two points to win. I think. Hey! <laughs> I want to make some new choices in life, please. Thanks. Uh, slams only. Alley oop others. Alley oop. That kind of a slam, I guess. What is an alley oop? No! <laughs> that was my ball, I earned it. No! <laughs> I love how I just slide in from the edge of the screen and no animation at all. <laughs> <laughs> How did you learn how to slam like that? Was that an alley oop? Was that an alley oop? <laughs> Why do I keep falling over? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what even was that animation? I was holding it backwards. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Me 
make you look bad. Go away. No. never a good game. Just like the constant shoving is always weirdly entertaining. No. Oh, you know we could play net play. Toe Jam and Earl. Or Toe Jam and Earl 2. That'd be way better than Slam and Jam. I'm gonna make some new choices, ouch, like, not this game. That's a good sound. Toe Jam and Errol 2. Um, yeah, generally would get desynced pretty badly. Let me see. Mm, uh, add Toe Jam Toe Jam and Earl in Panic Alf Funkatron, German. No, I want. Excuse me. Funkutron. There it is. Warp, warder, warp, warder, warp. Warder, warp, warder, warp. actually a really good game and it's really clever but it's also really hard I forget if it has a sound test Oh, it does. Of course it does. This is also a good song. Oops, this was not cropped correctly. The sound emulation on this is kind of weird. I wonder if that's something I could fix.
Uh, audio plugin options. No, it doesn't look like it. You've been challenged. Decline. I'll just leave third strike. Select the one to fight. Let's get it on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Oh no, you made me Earl. <laughs> press down to look, or I'm sorry, press up to look through stuff. You're trying to find hidden people. If you hit start and then A, you can do the funk scan to see who is around in case they are hidden beneath trees and stuff. That's not how that rock's supposed to sound. Ugh. Look at the rock! There's nothing there. Come on. No! Oh yeah, and you can hold A... Oops. You can hold A at some point, and I think that's also for, like... Dash thing. Also, the jumping mechanics are really fun. So you can, like, angle stuff and belly flop and backflip and all that. There are various spontaneous mini games that sometimes pop up. Um, that you have to jump really high and you get uh, bonus points. When the red light here starts flashing, that means there's somebody in your immediate area that you have to capture. So then you want to go to the funk scan, see where they are. I see that they're in the tree, and you gotta throw things at them. And that's Toe Jam and Earl 2, pretty much. There's nothing up here, I just find it fun to do the jumping. Oh, there is something up here. Do what? Oh, it's me. Which one's Boom Shaka? do that much. Wait, no! 
I could do better. Oh, it's got the number or the letter. Highlighted in it. I should have known that. I wish I knew how to read. Jam Earl 2 is real good. Like it changed everything from the first Toe Jam and Earl, but it's still really enjoyable. And I love how it looks and the music and everything. It's a shame that the new Toe Jam and Earl they're putting out looks like absolute trash. Homie Street. God. The premise is that... Okay, so in the first game... You are aliens and you crash land on a planet and your shit fell apart and you have to get all the parts. And you're also very funky. Come to the hyperfunk zone with me! Oh, you can't. And I think people saw you and were very funky and they wanted to come to your planet to visit. And now we have a bunch of Earthlings on our planet that we don't want. So we're trying to capture them in jars so we could send them back to Earth. Oops. Messed that one up. So we have to go and capture them. Oh okay, yeah, you can jump on these and balance and just sort of go. The biggest problem with this game is that for the co-op, um, it's kind of hard to keep everything on the same screen sometimes. Because, like, the sprites are nice and the sprites are big, but, like, it's very easy to become uh, separated so you don't know where anybody is. And the first Toe Jam and Earl just splits the screen, but, like, stuff like this happens and all of a sudden I don't know where I am. Which is always sort of weird. I think you can press start and you come back. Oh, I don't have any coins to put in the rhythm machine. I think that works. There you go. Yeah, this is, I think, one of the best Sega Genesis games. And it might not look like it, but it is real weird and kind of charming. And I hate the dogs in this. Oh, I never played little kid mode on this. Is that what that does? Oh god, please don't fall. Oh no! <laughs> hey, Sin. Oh no, wait, come back. No! Ah!
This is Tojam and Earl 2 Panic on Funkatron. It's real good. Come back. Oh, oh, oh. No, oh God, he must live. I don't know how to get over there, though. Is the screen cropped correctly? Uh, no. No, it's not. Now it is. Panic on Funkotron. Is this where you go? I don't actually know. I don't think it's up here. The only thing up here is that bonus. Oh wait, you know, I bet... No, the bubbles have their own path. Uh... You can't really control the direction they go. Oh, you know, it's probably not this way, just follow the arrows. Oh! that tree. Or I'll check it, I guess. Awesome. Might be over here? Not actually sure. Heart, am I Toe Jam or Earl? Probably Toe Jam? Not sure. Uh. One of us has to go over to the other player. Where are you? Oh. It's C to swim, by the way. God, please move the camera, I'm gonna drown. Oh no, Toe Jam! Definitely built like Earl, though. Kiss me! I don't know if you're just dead or what. Press start. The underfunk. Oh god, Toe Jam! Oh, you're not dead on your screen. Oh. Are you- wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Where are you right now?
<laughs> what? Oh man, that's a shame. It did start. All I just want is functional Toe Jam and Earl multiplayer. No! <laughs> I don't know. Everything is bad. I guess I'll just watch you die. <laughs> this is not what it looks like for you, is it? Are we in the same area at all right now? No, okay. So you're not, you're not dead. You're still at the chain of bubbles. Oh God. Uh. Huh. Well, that's a problem. Is there no way to try and resync? I don't think so. Let me see. Generate that file. Save snapshot. No. Negative. I guess you can reset. That'll... That'll, I guess, do it. Okay, well, I have to go and do stuff. Bye!